Hey guys, I'm back with another old phone review and today we have the iPhone 6. The phone that brought the design that we still see uh, even in 2017 with the latest iPhone. So this is my iPhone 7 Plus so you can see uh, that same design language and obviously this year with the iPhone 8 or iPhone 7s, whatever the name will be, Apple will definitely uh, change the design. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited uh, for that. So yeah, it brought a lot of good stuff. It's the first ever iPhone that go that went beyond the uh, the four inch screen size you know it's having a 4.7 inch screen size and that is also still we see with the iPhone 7 uh, now a lot of great things happen with this iPhone but the question is is it still worth buying in 2017 so let's start off with the build quality so uh, one thing that I like about Apple is that they always focus on quality you know since day one uh, the the iPhones they have like really good resale value and this iPhone cost above three hundred dollars at least where I live so um, that is all because of the quality it provides so you can see that it is having a super good aluminum build quality uh, it's a slim phone also features headphone jack which is now missing on the latest iPhones uh, but I have to say I mean it is super good even though uh, the design that we see on the iPhone seven is still the same you know overall design language but still you gotta you gotta realize that it is premium premium and that's what uh, make Apple really unique you know obviously we got that powerful Apple logo on the back as well so which really has a powerful effect on people so I have to say I mean build quality wise it is still kicking ass even in 2017 uh, when we unlock the phone using this sensor that we have here fingerprint sensor you can see that it is still fast and let me just try it again you wake it up and yeah it still works fast it's not like it's lagging and uh, we have the uh, beautiful 4.7 inch display retina uh, display and it is bright mine actually has some water damage so uh, I'm not a fan of a 4.7 inch size because I'm, a, I'm more of a big screen phone so that's why I am using my iPhone 7 plus which has a 5.5 uh, inch uh, gigantic display I mean it is great okay so uh, I have to say uh, for some people it may be a, a good a good size I mean it's not too big not too small uh, so I mean definitely if you want a phone that will be like a good for one-handed usage then it's still great 4.7 inch size we do have the iPhone 6 plus also so uh, you can get that one if you want the bigger display so under the hood we got Apple A8 processor with one gigs of RAM and it is pretty uh, insane to think like what one gigs of RAM and that is something that we have seen on like super but we don't even see on super budget devices like having two gigs of RAM is just like a child's play nowadays so but still it's enough to run iOS smoothly even in 2017 the iPhone 6 runs the latest iOS 10.2 without any problem and if we talk about the camera so this is uh, having an 8 megapixel camera on the back and sorry for the display again I uh, actually water damage hits quite a lot so uh, I mean picture quality is great with this phone uh, you can still get some great shots uh, we got a bunch of different modes you can call slow motion videos as well on the front we have 1.2 megapixel which is pretty bad I mean nowadays 5 megapixel is like a default megapixel point for most of the phones. so uh, yeah that is that if we talk about the battery life on the iPhone 6 it can provide you uh, uh, about like 15 hours of usage I mean you can use the low power mode to actually you know go through full day I mean it's not like bad it's just normal you know uh, it depends on your usage you can make your uh, phone battery last last longer I mean I use Wi-Fi all the time and uh, I do think that battery wise obviously the 6 plus would be better because that model comes with like bigger battery uh, but it's not too bad uh, it is perfectly fine for those people who don't travel that much and you know they go to somewhere and then they come back to their home and you know they can charge their phone now, I'm not gonna say that you should go out and spend three hundred dollar on this phone uh, because nowadays we have some really good devices for that price point I mean if you spend a little bit more like with uh, at, at around four hundred dollar you can get one plus three which is like obviously a better phone uh, with the latest processor and everything I mean uh, lots of lots of great options are available I mean you don't really have to go with the iPhone if you haven't used iPhone in your life then you can actually uh, give this iPhone 6 a try I mean uh, you can get used to iOS it's uh, how it works and everything and uh, then you can upgrade you know so you use this for like six months or if you like iOS then you can upgrade to like the 
better models and um, obviously I'm not gonna say that it's a great device for long-term use you know uh, obviously with iOS 11 it will go slow because who knows uh, what kind of requirements it will have uh, but definitely it will get the iOS 11 but uh, the smooth performance it's something that is not guaranteed the great thing about Apple is that they're still pumping out updates for this phone and uh, I mean yeah again if you want to give an iPhone to someone uh, or like to a kid uh, then you know you can use this as an option you know you don't have to spend that much and and uh, yeah that can be a good experience and first hand experience with the iOS so, so yeah these were my overall thoughts about the iPhone 6 in 2017 hope this video helped uh, you if you are stuck between you know deciding which one you should go for I'm gonna be revisiting some more old devices so um yeah stay tuned subscribe if you haven't if you're new to the channel please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace